Hey, what's up everybody? Dustin here with Rocky Mountain ATV MC. Today I'll be showing you how to test the starter motor on your motorcycle, ATV, or side-by-side. -side. Alright, so today I'm going to show you how to test the starter motor. Now, if your bike is beginning to experience some electrical problems where it's just not cranking over but your battery's in good shape and your starter relay works, odds are it might be your starter motor. So today we're going to help you to rule out the starter motor and show you how to test it. Now to test the starter motor you will need a 12 volt battery, your starter motor, a digital multimeter, and some jumper cables. Now when it comes to starter motors they're all pretty much the same and they all operate under the same principles whether you're working on your car, your side-by-side, -side, ATV, or motorcycle. Now there are components inside that can be measured and tested as well as rebuilt and that will depend on the type of starter motor that you have. So when it comes to those specific procedures and information, be sure to reference your service manual. Now to start our test, we're going to take our digital multimeter. We're going to place it into the volts DC position. Then we can take our red meter lead. We can connect it to our battery, followed by our black meter lead onto the negative post of the battery. Now on our multimeter, we should be able to read anywhere from 12.5 to 12.8 volts DC. This will let us know that our battery is in good shape. Next, we can take our jumper cables and the side that we'll be connecting to our starter motor. We're going to take one of the leads and we're going to connect it to the rubber insulation below our other connector. This way, when we connect it to our battery, we know that the other side isn't going to start sparking. We can take our red connection, connect it to our positive post, then the negative connector, and connect it to our negative post. Now when you connect the other end of your jumper cables to the starter motor, you may see some spark, so it's not a bad idea to go ahead and grab some safety glasses. Now when we connect to the starter motor, we're going to start by grounding our negative cable to the body of the starter motor. Now when you connect the negative lead of your jumper cables to the starter motor, you can connect it to just about anywhere on it that's a part of the body. Then we're going to take our positive lead and we'll connect it to the post right here on the starter motor. Now when we do this, the starter motor should operate if it's in a good state of condition. Now keep in mind, it is going to move and this operates with a lot of force, so be sure to have a good hold on it. So to test if it's good, we're going to apply 12 volts DC directly to it. And that's how we know that, well, our starter motor is in good shape. Now, if you apply 12 volts directly to the terminal and the motor does not rotate, odds are it's in bad shape. You either have a bad connection or a failed component inside of the starter motor. Now, remember the quickest and easiest way to test your starter motor is to directly apply 12 volts DC to it. And that's it. It's really quick and really easy to test your starter motor. Now, if you find that yours has gone bad, at our website at RockyMountainATVMC.com, we have OEM and aftermarket replacements depending on your machine. So visit our website, plug in your vehicle's year, make, and model to our parts finder, and it will show you all the parts that fit your machine. Now, if you have any questions, feel free to leave us a comment below, and we'll be sure to get an answer back to you. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more product spotlights, how-tos, and tests. All right, guys, that's it for me. I'm Dustin with Rocky Mountain ATVMC. Thanks for watching, and keep turning those wrenches.